All right, guys, Anime Metal Freak 1, or also known as Steven here, and I'm ready for part 7, so let's jump right into action. Where I left off, which would be Robotech, this is... Okay, ridiculous. No. Anyway, this is the Mast Robotech the Masters. This is a new treaty. It is volume 7. And then I also have volume 10. And uh, I really like... They gave you a lot of minutes on this, so it's like five episodes or something. But anyway, two of those basically make one season. Here is Robotech, the Macro Saga. This looks to be the best one, in my opinion, by looking at the back. Um, followed by The New Generation, volume 13 and 14. And that was volume one, by the way. Um, it looks decent. But, I'm not crazy about redheads, and this one just has a hard-on for redheads. So that could be a problem. <clears throat> anyway, here is Code Lyoko. This is Xana Unleashed, Volume 1. Okay, I hate to open this one up. Come on. Oh my god. Alright, it came with a character profile book, as well, with like the equipment used, like motorcycle things, stuff like that. Personally, a lot of people don't consider this an anime, but I read something like it was a Japanese company that made it, or whatever. But I really liked it, actually. Here's volume three, and just to be sure if something's in here, I'll go ahead and open it up. Nope. So we'll go to once again. As always, can't blame them. Alright, then I have a die guard. This is Volume 1 and 2. Die Guard is basically a robot type anime. Um, like I said in the last video, I'm not really super crazy about robot. So is Robotech, as in the title, Robotech. But, what can I do? I'm not going to really hate. Then I have Ark the Lad. This looks to be very cool. It reminds me of Orphan in a weird way. This is Volume 1. And this is volume two. But it just has that orphan look. So I think possibly the guy that created Orphan created this. And Orphan, I would actually put in my top ten anime of what I've seen. So it's a very good series. Okay, here is Excel Saga. Speaking of favorite series, this is volume one. And um, this is the most freaking zaniest anime that you'll ever see. Meaning... Makes no sense, sucks, stupid, whatever. They even put a freaking hazard sticker on here just to tell you how bad it is. But I guess I was stupid enough to actually buy it still. Here's the best of Tokyo Pig. So I hope that means it's like the greatest hits. I've watched one episode. And um, it was actually more for kids. It wasn't as funny as I thought. I thought it would be a lot, you know, like more crude humor or something. But it really wasn't. Um... Here's volume 7 and 8 of Subasa Reservoir Chronicles. I'm sure a lot of people know this. It's probably one of Clamp's best series. Anyway, here is volume 8, I think I said. Yeah, 8. Alright, then I have Blue Gender, a random volume. Well, this is actually the movie, I'm sorry. This is the movie, uh, Blue Gender, The Warrior. And um, it was a very good movie. I'm sure the anime will be great. And the main reason I actually wanted to pick it up is because it was the voice actor of Trunks, which would be this guy right here. And by the way, here's that random volume. It's volume 3. And uh, I haven't really got around to watching it yet, but I'm sure it will be. Well, I might have started it, but not really finished it. Then I have something kind of new, or you've probably never seen this one. It's Final Fantasy 7 or Advent Children. Two disc special edition. So there you go. There's Cloud. Um, everyone has probably heard of this movie. I know you've heard of the games. I haven't got to watch the special features and stuff, and I know there probably was a lot of them, so I could have missed some good stuff. Okay, then you go to Final Fantasy: The Spirits Within, which I didn't like. So go figure. It was just too... I don't know. I fell asleep watching it, so it wasn't that great. Okay, then there is Fruits Basket. This is the complete series. Um, 26 episodes on three discs. 
and I will say possible bootleg version. But what can I do other than open it up? Let's just it. And I guess I'll go ahead and open up the spirits within too. And I'm sure this is a bootleg, but um, it's a very, very good bootleg. And I did pay a substantial amount to get that, believe it or not. And um, it was also a very funny series. Um, I would definitely a great comedy to watch, such as a lot of little fighting, bickering going on between. Well, let me shut the video. It's dealing with the Chinese zodiac and all that. Then I have Cyborg 009. Go ahead and open this thing up. It says unedited and uncut. It's got eight episodes, so almost 200 minutes long, with a lot of stuff and. Anyway, here is the first disc, followed by the second disc. Um, it also came with a few playing cards, well, I'll just say cards, I don't know if you can really play with these. So here is 09, which is the main character, and then 02, which is Jet Link, is his name. Anyway, I'll go ahead and show you that. Then it also has character profile booklet, so there you go. Really nice. These actually came in the volume that I'm about to show you next, but I put them in here because it's the same volume. I'll go ahead and spoil that. Except this redone or whatever. And I like that one better. But anyway, so here is Cyborg 09, Good vs. Evil. It's a simple volume, first volume. If anybody wants to trade, meaning Corey, I'll trade you for it. Okay, here is School Rumble. The first season, I thought this was a complete collection. It's 28 episodes long, and it's got 160 minutes of extras. And it also comes with the OVA. Go ahead and open it up. So there's disc one and two. And um, this was also a very funny series. As where, you can kind of already tell that, and here's the OVA. But um, it's a very funny series from what I've watched of it. And... I haven't watched that much of it, except for maybe one disc. But I have a lot here. I have a lot on my plate. So, anyway. Alright, then I have Air. This is the complete series. This, I might also put in my top 10 anime. This is a... I don't know if I said this is a... Anyway, it's 12 episodes plus 2 OVA specials on 3 discs. And you can get this on that stuff for just like 12 or 13 dollars. And I mean, this is a very good series. It's not a comedy. It's more... I don't know. It's weird. It's just a very good series. And kind of girly, as in... It has a lot of small children being raped. Alright, here is Boba 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 Bo. This is Volume 1, uh, volume one Bonafide Protector. <clears throat> Actually... I'm not that crazy about Boba 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 Bo, or just Boba Bo for short. It was actually horrible. I fell asleep during it, and I remember when it was on Adult Swim or near the end of Toonami, I also fell asleep during that time. But I still bought it, trying to give it another shot, and I fell asleep. It's just too weird. It's like guys fighting over about hair, you know, or with their hair, about the abolishing of hair, stupid shit like that. So overall, it's a very horrible anime. Now this could become a problem, so I have my few VHS right there in the way. This is Brigadoon. Anyway, this is um volume four. Not much to say about it, but it looks pretty nice. Looks kinda like the thing called Shinzo, which is also a very good anime. It looks kinda like it for some reason. Or Mushroom Bow, if you might know that. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you will rate, comment, or subscribe. Thanks. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, and peace out. See you guys in a second.